What's up, everybody? We're going to solve Wordle for Wednesday, August 21, 2024. Uh, today, we're going to do event. And let's go ahead and pop event and see if we get a nice outcome as the event for today's Wordle. We get nothing, okay? Absolutely nothing. Let's go with score. Do we get score in two? That was a bad guess. Oh, I forgot about the E. I'm being a little bit slapdash here. Okay. All right. Um, that was that was sloppy. Okay. <laughs> really sloppy because it's like you already wasted an E in event, right? Not that that was a bad guess because if there's you know, more than one, you're checking for them. But then to put the, uh, the E there, ah, I might regret that. Ah. Uh, I could do lucky. That would be really lucky, but um, I want to be a little bit more careful now that we've kind of, you know, uh, screwed this up a little bit. Ooh, I like claim. Claim is looking really good. Now, I don't think I'm making any mistakes there. Uh, could Art claim that he made up for that ridiculous mistake in score and get claim in three? No, but we have L, M, and C, so that's not bad. Let's try to get a four today, guys. Let's try to get a four. CLM. Uh, what would be the what would be the word? Mulch. It, did we get mulch in four? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, there you have it. Um, I don't think that that error cost me the extra guess. Nah. But it was just a little sloppy, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that was a pretty good solve today. Um, considering we didn't get anything off of event. Some days you'll make out like a bandit like the other day with drama, getting the D in position and the A, and other days you'll come up a little bit short. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have a fight. Urgh! Yes, we are, because <laughs> the word is going to begin with F, and it's F-I-G-H-T, yes. So let's have a fun fight tomorrow, guys, on Wordle. And, of course, look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Ah, Wordle! What's up, everybody? Let's play some connections today for... Uh, Wednesday, August 21st. Um, here we go. We've got balloon, bar, cake, fizz, uh, coat, line, basketball, plaster, sour, floaty, sling, pie, bubble, tire, punch, and smear. These will be all ways of putting a layer of like paint or something onto something, but eh. I'm not crazy about it because you could also line something, although, you know, technically that just makes a line, whereas caking something, coating it, smearing it, and plastering it sort of like covers the, the surface. So this could be to cover a surface of something. Let's think about that. Um, I'm, I mean, come on. Basketball, bubble, balloon, and... Um, Okay, uh, it seems like that was too good to be true. It seems like those were round things. I mean, a tire's round, but bubble balloon and basketball are th are three are spherical, whereas a tire is more of a um, donut shaped object. But it's still round, so we we could we could consider that. So is a pie though. Pie is also round. I'm going to be honest, floaty is a little bit of a blind spot for me. Uh, it sounds like, yeah, I don't know what that is. That's unfortunate. A floaty. Uh, I mean, it could be like a float drink that you drink, you know, like in the good old days at the at the diner, you'd have a float, an ice cream float. So maybe they call it floaty now. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm not sure about a floaty. Or it could be a flotation device, something that you float on in the water. Hopefully it's one of those too. Sour is sort of out of place and fizz. All right. Um, okay, maybe we do have some drinks here. You've got punch, uh, punch and floaty. Oh boy. And then we've got a sling.
A little tricky today, guys. A little tricky. This is going to take a little bit of time, unfortunately. <clears throat> sling. You can sling, slingshot. Slingshot. That's the best I can come up with if that were a phrase. A sling. Bar. Fizz. Oh boy. Um. So I think. Uh, we're gonna. This is gonna be tricky because the balloon, bubble, basketball, pie, and tire are all things that are round, but they're they're not. Uh, they're different shapes. To, to be honest, oh boy, um, pie, pie chart, bar chart. Ooh, line chart, balloon chart. Whoa, is that correct? A, bi a pie chart, a bar chart, mm -hmm. but it's really a bar graph. Yeah, I don't think that's quite right. But I was thinking of like, yeah, I just don't know if the, there's a, no, nah, I don't know about a balloon. Bubble chart, okay, but pie chart, bar chart, line chart, a line graph, pie graph, a bar graph. Hmm, that's actually interesting. Pie, bar, line. It wouldn't be the four that I have highlighted. I do think that's going to be to cover a surface. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. I can't quite sort these out, but, you know, if we can get some stuff out of the way, that helps. Are these um, ways to cover a surface? Yeah, okay, good. Okay, good. Those are out of the way. Now, I think I'm onto something, guys. Pie chart, bar chart, or graph. Pie graph, that's the one, you know, where you've got a circle, and it's from the center of the circle, you create little wedges that look like slices of pizza, and that's used to determine how much you're allocating, um, either, you know, just graphically or by a percentage. And then you've got a line chart or a line graph. A balloon graph would be a little weird. I don't know if this is correct. I could be onto something completely off track. I mean, if it were a balloon graph, oh boy, then you would still have your basketball tire, then you would lose the things that are around, right? Again, this stupid floaty. It could, that could be, you know, that could be the, that, that's, actually, that's funny. That could be the thing in the um, pool. You call it a floaty and those would be round. I could see that. Maybe you call them a floaty. And then we'd be left with sling, sour, punch, and fizz. Uh, I just don't think these are quite properly sorted, and I'm not confident about a balloon graph. That doesn't really make sense. So I don't. I think that's not correct. Unfortunately, we might have to abandon this graph thing: pie graph, bar graph, line graph. 
even though they could be, they, those could be Excel graphs. Could be bubble. It wouldn't matter, then you would still have your balloon. Uh, balloon, yeah, you still have your balloon tire, basketball, and floaty for things that are round. And then you'd have, now you'd have sling sour punch fizz, but that that doesn't change it. I t I'm not sure what to do with sling sour punch and fizz. It can have some punch, it can have some fizz. Oh boy, this is taking some time. Um, boy, oh boy. I mean, the obvious one would definitely be bubble, basketball, balloon. Um, I feel like the tire and the floaty will go together. Actually, the tire, the floaty, assuming that that's correct, the, you know, um, the thing in the pool, then these would all be sort of like round donut shaped things. Unfortunately, there's no additional round donut shaped thing, is there? A sour? I don't think so. If it was like Lifesaver, that would have been perfect. But again, it's not quite right because the tire and the floaty have the hole in the center. So that's, that's, I'm not crazy about that. Oh my gosh, guys, this is really tough. Oh, man. I'm going to see if I have a one away with pie, a pie chart or a pie graph, a line graph, a bar graph, and um, try balloon. Would these be types of graphs? Okay, we'll try bubble. Are these types of graphs? Holy cow. Whoa, that's insane. Oh my gosh, that, that, that's hard. Okay, that's hard. That's just after years of um, lots of uh, Excel work and stuff like that. Okay, cool. So we nailed that. Um, and so I think by we can get this, even though I think I'm not going to be able to name the other category. Um, I think we can get this because you're going to have your balloon, your basketball, your tire, and your floaty. Are these just round things? Yep. Oh, things that are inflated. Hmm. That's it. Now, whoa. That, that's pretty controversial. That's pretty darn controversial. Because, guys, first off, let me know, is the floaty the thing that I'm thinking about? Is that like what you have in the pool? Kind of like uh, the round, uh, obviously inflatable thing, and you kind of just sit in the middle of it and let your legs dangle? Sort of basically, it's like a, uh, a bagel, right? A plastic bagel inflated uh, for the pool. So the thing is, I admit... You know, inflated probably is a little bit more accurate, but they all they are all round things. Okay, so I sort of feel like that could go either way. You guys can let me know. I'm gonna accept. I'm gonna claim the point for that for now. And if you guys would like to um, quibble in the comments, um, I will certainly entertain uh, anything that sounds pervas persuasive enough. Okay, sling fizz sour punch. Um. So let's see what we could do with this, right? Um, turning into a little bit of a longer video, unfortunately, but uh, we're going to win. That's awesome. Uh, you 
it's got some punch, ah, some sour fizz. It, it makes me think of drinks for some reason. Um, I can't think of a, that it would be a phrase because like what really goes with fizz? So do we have some wordplay? Punch, fizz, what would that go with? Whiz, sling, slingshot, punch ball, sour ball, sling ball, fizz ball. Um, I'm just going to say associated with drinks. Whoops. Not bad. Uh, not bad. I think that's at least half a point, right? Cocktail, classic cocktail types. Associated with drinks? Yeah. I mean, you guys, again, pretty, we got some, we've got some discussions uh, in front of us, don't we? Um, you're going to have to let me know if we accept round for the green category, okay? Which is what I said. It, they're true. They're all round, but do we really need to say they're inflated to get the full point? That's to be determined. And then here I said associated with drinks. Those cocktails are definitely drinks. I actually think that that pretty is much the full point. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so there you have it, guys. We just had to blow one guess because I just wasn't quite sure if you call it a, a balloon chart or a bubble chart. They almost seem interchangeable, but obviously it was bubble. And there we have it. So dragged you on a little bit, but I do hope you found that entertaining. That was kind of a tough one. That was really tough um, for me. Even though I caught on to the charts, I, I was nervous because I was like, ah, oh, are they really going to go with like, you know, uh, like Excel charts or something? Yeah, they did. They went there. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed. And of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Click.